Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Imre Zishrak. So Unilever launched their liver buzzer feature in order to digitalize their distribution channel. But what happened in Rangpur is that some outlets are using this feature, but most of them are not using this. On the other hand, in Rangpur, the attrition rate of sales officers are getting higher day by day. So let's see that what approaches we can take to resolve these issues. So Tabasum was assigned to come up with the solutions of these two problems. Let's work on problem one first. By analyzing the chart, we can detect a few things. We can observe that the impact stores currently account for over half of the total sales. Harvest outlets bring in 32.15% of the total, with the remainder coming from the tail outlets. However, if we take a glance at the growth column, we can only see outlets in the harvest category have a positive weighted average growth rate of 10.43%. The other two groups weighted average growth rates are negative. This indicates that apart from the sales of harvest outlets, most of the other outlets are witnessing a fall in their sales volume. Now, it is also visible from the chart that only the stores falling under the harvest category are using the lever buzzer feature. Other retail stores from the impact and tail category are not B2B enrolled. Except in a few situations, it provides a clear impression that only retailers employing the digital B2B feature where lever buzzer are seeing a rise in sales. Aside from that, practically every other store is experiencing a decline. To resolve this concern, first of all, we must take distinct activities for each specific category with the goal of improving their existing situation. Then in order to improve the efficacy of our distribution system in a competitive market, we must take certain generalized steps for the entire distribution channel. We need to engage with the outputs of the impact group them as majority of them do not use lever buzzer. They need to know that how lever buzzer will optimize their inventory and logistic costs, as well as how it will provide them with a hassle-free B2B distribution channel where they won't have to wait for the schedule to order. They can order directly from the company at any moment and on any day. We also need to uphold the picture of lever buzzer's practical success rate in front of them by informing them of the harvest outlet's growth rate. Positive feedback from lever buzzers will also encourage them to incline towards getting B2B enrolled. When we are going to engage with harvest outlets, we need to educate them about how they can take their number of higher and to contribute more to the sales volume of the company. They should know how the proper product demand analysis for their outlets work. They should also be trained on using lever buzzer more efficiently. When it comes to the tail outlets, the primary target is to increase their number of sales. They should be given incentives to use lever buzzer. A number of tail outlets from the same locality will be assigned under a sales representative to monitor their sales and advise them on a day-to-day -day basis. Now comes the generic solution. At first, we will need an integrated and automated digital distribution system which will update us with data in both ways. It will help us to analyze contemporary situations and take real-time decisions to increase the efficiency of the supply chain. Machine learning can also be integrated with the platform. It will analyze the contemporary supply and demand curve of each individual outlet and give them accurate updates about product quantity. Secondly, Unilever can affiliate with Union Digital Centers or UDCs of Rangpur. Most UDCs are helping people with 150 different day-to-day -day public and private services. The number of internet and smartphone users in Rangpur is increasing rapidly and UDCs can play a vital role in training and educating people and shopkeepers and bringing them inside the digital retail network of Unilever. Our third generalized approach is digital incentives for retailers. We can in introduce discount offers on product to join Lever Bazaar. Unilever can also affiliate with the mobile financial service platforms like Bikash, Nogod, etc. for discounts integrate it with Lever Buzzer so that retailers can get more incentives to join the platform. Now let's move on to the next problem, which is the sales officer attrition. So these are the causes that leads up to the attrition. Firstly, to overcome the poor performance, we need to retrain the sales officer with poor performance under the officer with higher sales volume monthly basis. Thus, they will learn about the contemporary experiences and approach methods. Then conditional schedule flexibility will be available for them to avoid work exhaustion. To get over the conflicts between sales officers and their supervisors, gamified incentive sessions will be organized with a team consisting of the sales officers and their respective supervisors. This will improve the understanding between them and reduce conflict tendencies. Open discussion sessions will also conduct twice a month to point out different complaints and they will be evaluated only from neutral perspective. Lever buzzer pay liter feature will be introduced to resolve the credit issue. The pay liter feature will allow the retailers to pay a portion of total credit while B2B purchasing, but it has to be repaid via their MFS account such as Bcash Nogod within a fixed period from the purchasing date. No sales officers will be allowed to give credit. Distributors will be paid upfront by the company. As a result, credit via pay later feature will be directly paid to the company using MFS or any digital transaction system. And these are the main advantages of the lever buzzer pay later feature. From my perspective, I believe these steps will help to resolve the ongoing problems in the Rangpur territory. Thank you so much.